hello good evening guys this is crypto marie she does it all a little bit of everything i'm going to let you know the latest on how the crypto market is doing and um remember whatever i said i am not giving you advice to buy or sell always do your own research your own due diligence before you purchase any coin at this moment we have bitcoin at twenty thousand seventy two dollar and it's on the red side it's down 1.24 percent we have ethereum one thousand five hundred and eighty dollar is two point thirteen percent down we also have binance bnb the is down zero point ninety five percent and a cardano is up it's on the green side zero point zero nine percent is 46 cents if you have crypto.com the top 10 gainers for the day we have g o d s which is 10 percent up a g l d which is eight percent up SDN 6% off, LTC 6% off, CQT 5% off, SGB 5% off, PYR 5% off, AIOZ 5% off, PENDLE 4% off, and FXS is 3% off. And I'm going to go to our... Um, favorite coins for the day and see how they doing our favorite coins uh, let me let the thing upload give me one second guys our favorites our favorites come on okay we have shiba you know it's down right now on 1.53 percent down terra luna classic 8.72 percent down um doggle on mars elon is 1.71 percent down tonic tectonic 1.63% down, VVS 1.10% down, and I have four manas, and it's like 1.73% uh, up. And when it comes to um, Terra Luna Classic, we have to give Terra Luna Classic a break for one second because after pumping so hard from 82% that I noticed that I witnessed myself to one of my friends stated it hit 110% up. It's gonna retrace it's gonna cool off it's gonna take its time and it's normal i don't want you guys to panic and this is the reason why not financial advice always do your own research your own due diligence before you purchase any coin this is the perfect reason why people should not be buying any coins when it's pumping hard when it's when it's going to the moon you know and people do the opposite i'm not understanding that logic I have tried my best. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not trying to. But when I try to tell people, don't buy when it's green. Don't buy when the candle is up in the sky. Don't buy when everybody is four more out, fear of missing out. That's when some people say, well, now it's looking amazing. Let me buy some. Oh, my God, this is the wrong thing. If, you, if you're not trying to change your ideas on purchasing any type of coin, I'm going to seriously tell you this right now. It is not financial advice. If you're not trying to learn the best way to buy coins, it's going to be hard for you to make it. Or it's going to cost you a lot of money to make it. Because you buying, you buying when, when people, everybody are, are fighting to get into it. Because they don't want to miss out. But now, perfect example when Terra Luna Classic shoot up crazily 82 to 110 percent up I remember checking for 100,000 it was 45 dollar now it's like 26 25 dollar for 100,000 so what would you prefer to buy buy it for 25 dollar or buy it for almost twice of that 45 to 50 dollar why you don't see the logic why you don't reason with that saying okay let me buy it cheap let me buy it when nobody cares about it and when it goes up i sell i make some money again it's not financial advice but it is one in one math basics understanding of any type of investment you don't buy when when the real estate market is hyped up like right now what you used to pay 500 and 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 fifty thousand or three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand for a three bedroom, four bedroom in some area, different places are different. Now are you paying six, seven hundred thousand for a two, three bedroom now? 
I, I don't care how much money I make from crypto. I don't want it. Let them have it. Let the people with the real money have it. But it's with all the respect, I, I, I'm not, you know, telling you it's going to crash. But eventually, it's not going to sustain that kind of market. It's going to go down. So I can't, I can wait. I, go ahead. Do your thing. Wait, I, I'll wait for it, you know. And um, another thing I realized, not only we have some people are four more out. Regular retailers are four more hours on our favorite coins or on our coins. Sorry, guys. My hair all over. But I also, I also see a lot of YouTubers also are four more out. Why they are four more? Because there was a lot of coins that we have, we have interest in that we love that I cover with it in good days and bad days. I still let you know how the coins doing. And I also tell you, I'm not telling you what to do, but in my opinion, if I had money, this is what I would be doing. Perfect example. I want to also give a shout out to Roger Garcia. Because Roger Garcia is consistent. Whether Tonic Tectonic is down or up, he always give you something to talk about because he invest in it and I invest in it. And, you know, I don't have that many subscribers yet. So even though if I put a video out, if you are not looking for Tonic Tectonic, you might not know how Tonic Tectonic is doing. But Roger Garcia has quite a few subscribers and he's doing amazing because I, I, I remember I, in the beginning, when Tonic Tectonic was doing good, we had a f quite a few people talking about Tonic Tectonic. But now their interest is all in Terralona Classic. And I understand. This is where the money is. This is where everybody is. is this is what everybody is talking about. This, this, is, this is the new B in town. That's what I say. Everybody's loving, loving, uh, loving on Terralona Classic. Everybody say, this is my baby. This is my new, you know what now. But what happened? Because I will remember clearly when Tonic Tectonic was going up three days straight on the wall, top 10 gainers for the day. I have seen some YouTubers I have never heard of or uh, seen talking about Tonic Tectonic. But because this is where the hypes was, this is where everybody was focusing, talking about, Everybody is going for Tonic Tectonic. Now, Tonic Tectonic is not doing okay. Everybody runs somewhere else. Forget about Tonic Tectonic. I don't think it's fair in a sense. I know we have our own opinion, our own way of doing things. It doesn't matter what people, you know, what people feel or say. But if you're going to cover a certain coin, like Matthew Perry usually cover Terralona Classic, Lunatics, Shiba Inu. He focused on those like nobody's business. Okay, and overall, give you know the latest on how the crypto market is doing. That person, when I'm thinking about watching him, I know for sure I'm going to hear about Terralona Classic, Lunatics Code Token, or Shiba Inu, right? That's what he focuses on, and I respect that. Um, Roger Garcia focus on Tonic Tectonic, Terralona Classic. Um. And Doug, Doug on Mars also, I think he covered that also. But now, uh, what's the other guy? Ramos used to cover Tonic Tectonic. I see every video he put down now is Chronos, Crow, because he has some kind of partnership with them. He kind of like forget about Tonic Tectonic. Um, there was this other guy. He used to f talk about Tonic Tectonic. Everybody now turned their back on Tonic Tectonic. And I know there will be a moment that Tonic Tectonic will get back again and start shooting up. And that's when you will see all the YouTubers that are for more out come talking about it like that was the best coin they ever heard of that they've known of the whole time. But they never report on it because it wasn't doing well. You know, I don't think it's right. Even in passing, you don't want to focus too much on it. You might not have much, you know, positive stuff to say. But at least say, hey, Tonic Tectonic is not doing okay right now. It is not, you know, it lost this and that zero, but not financial advice. It's the best time to accumulate. It's the best time to DCA. It's the best time to add and balance your account. But for you to literally don't say nothing whatsoever, nothing whatsoever about the coin, 
And then when the coins start shooting up, that's when you come back. Hey, guys. Oh, Tonic Tectonic is doing amazing. Tagalona Classic is doing great. Uh, uh, VVS, Elon Dagolan Mars, to the moon, to the moon. It's such a hypocrite thing. It's such a hypocrite way of doing things, you know. So you with the coin when the coin is doing good. But when the coin is not doing good, you throw it in the trash. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right. And again, we all have our opinion. This is my opinion. This is how I feel about it. And like I said, I am here to whip out the good and the bad news to you. There was time. If it's green, it's going crazy. I don't even have to say much, but I said it. I, if I say something to bring the excitement to say, hey, we're doing amazing today. Woo, wonderful. Da, da, da. We're going to make some money. And if it's not doing well too, I said, listen. This is not the time to panic sell. Hold on time to your coin. Hold, hold on tight. And if you, have, if you have the cash, you need to balance your account. You need to add more. This is the right time to buy. I let you know what to do and say, not financial advice, in the good time and bad time. But to absolutely abandon the coin. And then when the coin shoots up, when the coin doing amazing like Terra Classic yesterday, that's when people everywhere, every, everywhere you turn around, oh, this coin is doing good. This coin is doing, it's like, it's a total hypocrite. I'm sorry, guys. This is how I feel. Like for um, Hilton Austin, for Zach Hemphrey, I I can respect their opinion. They only touch on Terra Luna Classic because they, viewers and, and subscribers, asking them to cover it. And you know how YouTube is. If you don't do what they want you to do, then things can turn for the worst, you know? So I said, okay, I, I understand that. They have a big fan base. They have a lot of people, a lot of subscribers. They ask them to cover it. Of course, they're gonna listen to them to give them what they want. But for the people that only cover coins when the coin's doing well, from their heart, they really don't have any passion, anything behind it. They're just saying anything to have more viewers, to have more subscribers. I think you need to check yourself out a little because that's a total hypocrite move with all the respect. And um, we're going to end this on a good note. Again, I let you know the latest on how the crypto market is doing. And uh, right now I'm going to post this and let me know how you feel. Okay. Let me know how you feel. It's good to cover the coin, whether it's in, on the floor or whether it's on the sky. And remember, whatever goes up, going to come down. Tagalona Classic did its thing yesterday, and I expected it to retrace a little, and it did. And right now, again, not financial advice, but if you can, add, add, balance your account, because you see what it can do. You see what it will do. And um, November, um, November, <laughs> September is moving really, really fast, and you know there was a special date coming, which is uh, September 12th. It's right around the corner, yeah, right around the corner. And then the merge for Ethereum from proof of uh, work to proof of staking. And you know the blockchain, um, uh, Terra Luna Classic, Shiba Inu, and Douglas Mars were built on the Ethereum blockchain. So it's, it's, it's going to help. If there was a, a hardcore pushing on the blockchain, the blockchain is doing good. All the coins that built on it also will be doing amazing. Again, let me know how you feel. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Crypto Marie. I don't bite my tongue when it comes to letting people know with all the respect how I feel about a certain things, a certain coin, a certain situation. It's me. I have moments. I cry. I laugh. I'm serious. I'm, I'm joking. I am all one person but a human being. And I'll let you know how I feel. No disrespect. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Crypto Marie, she does it all.